Well, my name's Sam, and I come from the Isle of Wight in the UK. Uh, this is my house. It's a Mercedes 308D uh, Luton van, which I built. <laughs> uh, I've got an electrical background. I trained to be an electrician and uh, didn't really like the 9 to 5 grind, so built a house, and now I just travel doing work where I can. I've been living in it on and off over the last two years as I've been building it and now that it's finished it's my full-time home. It's great, it's a great life. When I first bought it, it was just a, uh, a recovery vehicle and I had the recovery part removed and found a loot box to crane on. I bought it because the 308s have an invincible engine. I wanted reliability over anything. Speed, it's not very fast. Then I had an empty shell, a nice square box to convert from. Insulated it with 50mm king span, floor, walls, roof. Um, I've got double glazing from households. <laughs> it's uh, a bit... For heating, I've got a five kilowatt diesel heater and a tidy little wood burner that's uh, handmade by one of the guys on the self-build camper van groups. I've got a proper kitchen, I've got a cooker, a nice fridge freezer that uh, runs off 24 volts. Everything in here runs off 24 volts um, because I wanted to half the amount of current that I use uh, and a lot of like trucker equipment uh, and stuff comes in 24 volts which is uh, much better for the power usage. 610 watts of solar, 180 amp hours at 24 volt for power storage. Built a little shower and toilet. The shower is made out of uh, a kitchen sink, which is a tiny little room. Um, just the right size to, to do what you need to. I wanted it to be as light as possible, so I've built this huge skylight uh, on top of it, and I've got the same above the bed, which is a, a um, Houdini hatch from a sailing yacht so you can proper open it up and climb out onto the roof and scrape the snow off the solar panels when you need to. So I've got, um, I, I went for the jerry cans for water tanks because I wanted to be able to fill up no matter where I am. So I've got two 25 litre jerry cans that I can take into a building and fill up if I need to. Um, and then I've got a 70 litre waste tank, um, which is, uh, it lasts me about 10 days with a couple of showers mm. and doing the washing up and stuff like that, which is quite good. Full size memory foam bed and a nice big circle window next to it so you've got good views. Um, wherever you park up. Storage, clothes, um, I've got wood all under her and then I've got like bits for repairing anything that breaks and stuff like that. Parts for the van all stored under her. I wouldn't say I've got any regrets with the build because, well actually yeah I do. The fiberglass extension that I did on the roof I had no experience with fiberglass and I've never done it before and it's really obvious that I didn't because it looks pretty dire but um, I'm gonna redo it at some point anyway um, and probably get some education on it before I do. <laughs> but my favourite bit is the circle window in the front because it's a, a hatch as well you can like you can proper open it up in the morning and like in the summer it's nice to get this like br breeze come all the way through the middle of the van. Uh, it stops it heating up and also I love my kitchen because I've got a decent spice rack and it's really nice to have a decent amount of space to do some proper cooking instead of like huddling over a little stove. Mm. Homely. <laughs> Living in a van is also really useful for being in a band. Um, I play accordion in a gypsy punk band called Buffo's Wake. <laughs> Touring around the UK it's great to be able to like have a decent house to stay in at festivals. We've had a few like band breakfasts at festivals and stuff in a decent <laughs> like, household environment. It's uh, yeah, it's good, cushy. My other favorite thing about the van is that the stable door, it's great to just open up the top half of it and you can like lounge around in your pants, nobody can see, but still got like a bit of the outdoors going on, it's great. <laughs>